just being able to grab anything. A muffin or something from yeah, Starbucks. Yeah, because, you know, a lot of times when we travel, even if, <coughs> even if it's, so if it's a planned trip, you're going on a holiday somewhere or you're going, you know, a lot of times we kind of want to let loose and just enjoy. Treat yourself. Treat yourself, yeah. right. <laughs> you know, when we go, like, if my daughter and I travel, uh, you know, she loves, go well, she goes to Starbucks all the time. But... She really likes to go to Starbucks at the airport. I have no idea why. I think it's just. I think it's just a part of. It me, um, it's probably just a ritual. Like yeah, I'm traveling. I'm yeah, getting something. I'm fun. traveling. I'm yeah. getting something fun. I'm gonna get a, a muffin. Yeah. And it's part of my, you know, just experience. Experience. Yeah. And so, and and a lot of us adults were like that too. You know, you go on vacation. You want to let your hair down a little bit. You want to mm -hmm. eat a little bit different. And sometimes if you made the decision to, to live the key to the lifestyle, it can be difficult um, to continue to eat, to the, continue same to eat the same way. Yeah. And so we get that. Uh, again, we've done keto for three years, and so we've kind of been down that road. I guess one of the things I would say, though, is, you know, airports, you can find things. Convenience stores, you can find things. I, even if you're driving somewhere, you gotta stop at a fast food place. There's keto. There's things you can make into I a keto. I really thing. have not been to a fast food restaurant. I couldn't find yeah, it absolutely anything. Yeah. So there's there's ways to do it. It's just I think part of it is maybe it's more of a mental thing. It it's just it's just because it's not easy and convenient. You gotta think about it. And maybe sometimes you just don't want to think about it. You just yeah. want to be able to do what you do and what you used to be able to do. And sometimes it can be a little bit difficult. So, and likewise, our third one is uh, it can be a difficult when you are visiting someone else. Yeah, yeah. And so when you're visiting relatives or visiting friends, and whether that's just for going over to someone's house for dinner, or if that's like if you're yeah. going to stay with them for yeah. a while, it can be it can be difficult. I mean, we know that we. So I know a couple of weeks we, or last week we just did the Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm video and we you know try to pump you up about staying keto during thanksgiving which we truly do believe you can do because we are we do it and but i mean our family is is has either practiced the ketogenic yeah. lifestyle in the past is currently practicing hope to practice it again yeah. so we're we have a very you know response yeah we've got family. we've got some we've got some support even though they may not be doing it like we are all the time, but they still get Ketogenic it. Ketogenic foods will they, be brought. Yeah, they they get will it. be served. They understand. You know, but some of y'all wouldn't go into situations with your family. Where it's strictly carby. Yeah, yeah where it's strictly carby. People difficult. might be teasing you about what you can't have. And, and, and so you have to face all that. And so we get it. And so sometimes when you're visiting other folks, um, it can be a little bit difficult. Again, if you can plan ahead, that's, that's a strategy that you can always use. Um, but There's so many, so many um, food constraints anymore. I guess is is nowadays is how I'm I'm choosing to phrase it. Even not just the ketogenic lifestyle. It seems like a lot of people can't eat gluten, or they're not. That's you know, true. they're vegan, That's or true. you know. So you might not be the only family member yeah, it, that is practicing. Yeah, something and it's funny you just different. said that. I was talking about uh, a friend of mine, Pat, mm -hmm. and Pat just got diagnosed as being type two diabetic. And but he was telling me, you know, so we were talking about keto. I mean, a, I mean, it was like two days after he had been diagnosed. So he he was trying to figure out how he was going to eat, and he's on metformin and all that. So I started talking to him about keto. But he was mentioning that another person that I know that he works with, she's a vegan. Yeah. And so there's all kinds of people there, who are yeah, practicing. Yeah, maybe different. some people, you know, you're going to be with people who have kids and they can't eat food dyes, or I mean, there's yeah. all kinds.